Hello again. In today's episode, let's look at how to interact with Tmux programmatically. Here's how to split windows vertically and horizontally. You can optionally indicate what command to run, in this case, top. The pane closes when the window does. This may not be what you want if the program exits by itself. You can change the behavior from the command menu like so. To terminate the pane, use prefix X. Let's start top again and try something more practical. As you can see, most of my CPU's cores are idle. Let's give them some work and learn how Tmux can help us manage the workload. Let's create a simple Python script in a virtual environment to compute prime numbers. Let's use a package primepy to keep the code nice and short. I'm going to write a script to a file called nthprime.py. As its first and only argument, the script expects an integer that tells it which prime number to print. Let's see if it works. That looks good. How about for something a little more challenging? Very good. Let us try now to keep the other CPU cores busy as well. First of all, let's scale the screen and then write a simple shell script that displays the primes not only for 30,000, but from 30,000 all the way up to 30,005. This time we're instructing Tmux to open a new window for each computation. We're also naming each window using the minus n flag. Let's go and jump straight back to window zero. As you can see at the bottom, several windows have been opened. What is really useful though is the list of windows that prefix w gives you. You can also see that a number of cores are busy now. To see the results, wait for usage to drop, then select the window and hit enter. As you can see, the command has finished and the pane is dead. We can cycle through the other windows with prefix n, as we learned in another session, and close the windows with prefix x. That's all for today and also the end of this five-part introductory Tmux tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.